we have detected gravitational waves. We did it. By now, many of you have heard about the recent discovery of gravitational waves, one of the greatest scientific discoveries in the past century, proof that space is flexible as first proposed by Einstein's theory of relativity, the one we use to describe everything we see around us today. To make the equation work, he proposed that space can be bent and warped by the gravity of massive objects in the universe. So about a billion years ago, in a distant galaxy, two black holes collided, releasing the energy of a billion trillion suns in a fraction of a second. That sent out waves like ripples in a pond or seismic waves from an earthquake, bending space as it moved at the speed of light. And that energy is still spreading outward to this day. That very ripple was detected on September 14th, 2015 by LIGO, an incredibly sensitive and enormous instrument with one receiver in Louisiana, the other in Washington. That was the moment we realized gravitational waves exist, that Einstein was right, and that we just opened up a whole new can of worms. So what happens now? Well, for the first time, we have ears along with eyes into the universe. We no longer just have to rely on what we see from telescopes, we can listen as well. LIGO will continue to hunt for waves here on Earth, but the search has expanded now beyond our atmosphere. Just recently, the LISA Pathfinder spacecraft arrived at its place a million kilometers from Earth, where gravity of Earth and Sun cancel each other out in order to keep two cubes of gold platinum suspended in perfect freefall. That was our first bold attempt to hunt for the waves from outer space. It's just a test though, but the theory behind the setup is that isolated from radiation and solar wind noise, the masses will only move if jostled by the space-time ripples. And that was just step one. If testing is successful, the next phase will be the LISA launch. Three separate spacecraft, a million kilometers apart, linked with lasers. Once in place, it will be the largest instrument ever built, and it will act as a sort of net to the sound of the universe. The new discovery has also encouraged other countries to accelerate their research into gravitational waves. China has announced a 15 to 20 year plan to also launch three high orbit satellites to detect the bending of space. So what do we hope to hear with this new sense we now know we have? Everything from black holes to the beginning of time and who knows what else we don't even know exists yet. Our ears are now tuned in to the music of the cosmos. And now you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.